The Yang family has just arrived to Canada from China. Li, the only son, does not speak English. He regularly communicates in Chinese over the internet to his best friend Chen, who lives in China. The house is really nice. It's huge. I just love my room. It's awesome. Dad got the internet hooked up and mom, well, she got the satellite cable guy to come on a Sunday. Um, you know, she can't miss her favorite Chinese TV show. Today, mom met the neighbors. Welcome to Green Hill! My name is Tam, and this is my partner, Phil, and we're your next door neighbors. I hope you're gonna like it here. This neighborhood's so white bread, if you know what I mean. We baked you a uh, chicken casserole. Hope you're gonna like it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye! Dad is excited that he's going to start his new job as a financial consultant for Asian market. Don't ask me what that means, but Dad say he's going to make more money than he did back in China. Got to go now. We are going to explore our new home. Dear Chen, I'm writing to you from the rooftop of my new home. I have a really cool view. Congratulations for getting 96 on your English test. You know, if I was there, I would get 100%. I wish teacher wouldn't speak English so fast. I'm having a very hard time understanding. We're going to review what we discussed last week, remember? We went over the difference between a subject and a verb and a... On top of that, I'm having a really hard time understanding the English my classmates are speaking. What's up? Give me props! Dad doesn't seem to be happy at his new job. He feels that Canadians do too much socializing. Today he went to the manager's office. this Saturday? I will not, sir. I have other things to do, sir. Come on, Peter. Everyone's expected to play. It's a great place to get to know everybody. I, I do not play golf, sir. Would it sign this report, sir? Peter, live a little. Peter, golf isn't an easy game to play. Here, take the club. Put this ball down for you. Just bend your knees. Aim at that square over there, shoulders width apart, and uh, whenever you're ready. Go ahead, Peter. Take a shot. Uh, where's that report?
Kim and Phil seem great, but Mark is convinced that the neighbors are trying to poison us. Hi, Miss Lee. We baked you a quail Cornish pie. It's one of Phil's favorite dishes. It has quail, bacon, ham, mushrooms, carrots, and peas. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Hi, Miss Lee. We made you a clam chowder. This is Tim's favorite. It has. Thank you. Hi, Miss Lee. Dear Chen, Dad was fired from his job today. Apparently, the boss doesn't think that he's getting along well enough with his colleagues. And so the third guy, he slips off this magical mountain and he's like, crap! And he turns into crap! <laughs> <laughs> of the mountain. Crap. You get it? He's not worried though. Dad already has some job prospect lined up. Well, Peter, I went through your resume and it looks like you're more than qualified for this position. Unfortunately, you lack the Canadian experience we're looking for. The five languages you speak is impressive, no doubt about that. But I'm afraid our clients would have difficulty with your English accent. Peter, on paper, you're an excellent candidate. Unfortunately, we are like a small family here, and we just don't feel you would fit in. Mom complains that she has no one to talk to when Dad is out working and I'm at school. I'm sure the neighbors are home, but she refused to have anything to do with them. I am still having troubles at school. I'm embarrassed to say that for the first time in my life, I'm failing at a course. Mom and I want to go back to China, but Dad refuses. He who quits never succeeds. He who succeeds never quits. I'm trying hard to improve my English. Go ahead, make my day. Go ahead, make my day. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. There's no place like home. 
There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Things in Canada has not gotten any better since I emailed you. Dad still has not found a job. He waits by the phone all day long, even though he hasn't had a single interview in the last four weeks. Lately, my parents have been arguing about money a lot. Dad wanted to cut cable, but mom says if he cuts the cable, she will cut off his manhood. Let's just say we still have cable. Dad has not given up. He has a whole new set of resume to send out. My mom is hoping to pay the bills by taking up her old job sewing clothes. Unfortunately, she is a little rusty. I feel so alone here in Canada. It's difficult trying to make friends. No one seems to notice me. Yeah, I was gonna go last minute, but then I bailed. What about you? Wait, I still didn't watch it. It's pretty boring. You watched it? You watched it? Yeah. Who did Harry so, marry? No, <laughs> no, not Harry. Um, what about the the guy who killed Harry's parents? Did he come back? Which one? Uh, the half of the I heard Dumbledore died. Guys, I know, that's so sad. <laughs> I'm hungry, guys. You wanna go grab something to eat? Yeah. Okay, let's go. There's no place like home. Hi Chan, thanks for your words of encouragement, but if Dad doesn't find a job soon, we'll have to move. I don't think we'll be going back to China. He who quits, never succeed. He who succeeds, never quit. Dad says in Toronto there are places where family can stay when they can afford rent. One of those places is called Regent Park. It is an area that has a lot of Chinese families. I guess it would be nice to live in a place where there are other Chinese family. <laughs> Mom would love it there. Unfortunately, there's a waiting list. Thank you for your interest in applying for the rank year to income housing, Mr. Wong. All you need to do is fill out these forms. We do have a waiting list. Luckily, it's based on your needs. How long do you think it would take? Based on what you told me about your situation, I would say... About 10 years. In the meantime, Dad has taken up learning golf. Oh, did I tell you what happened the other day? Mom was watching her favorite TV show when... It looks like the cable was cut for non-payment. At first, Mom was furious, then she just started cooking. You're not going to believe what happened next. 
Miss Lee, Hi. come in, come this in. This is quite a snow doll. Oh, thank you. Come in, come, come, come. <laughs> At school, my marks are improving. I'm learning a lot of English by taking part of people's conversation. However, I'm beginning to think that my powers of invisibility is wearing off. Just the other day, there were these two students beating up Frank, a kid in my science class. Where's my money? I don't have it, bro. What you looking at? Yo, beat it, kid. I told you to get lost. Go ahead. Make my day. Yo, I think this guy knows martial arts. Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah, thanks, kid. I appreciate it. After that day, I'm beginning to make new friends. Oh, by the way, I got exciting news. Dad got a job. He who quits never succeed. He who succeeds never quit. Mom now spend all her free time at the neighbors. Anyways, I have to go now. Talk to you later. I believe I'd be the perfect candidate for your organization because I have over 10 plus years in the industry of financing. I have managed over several portfolios worth more than 20, 30 million dollars. I have generated 10 times more revenue with any organization that I have led. I unfortunately have left this organization because it has been bought out and that is why I want to join your organization because I believe that it will be prosperous. Don't I know you? Brought to you by the Regent Park Focus Youth Media Arts Center.